thermosiphon system. A very simple system, which was used in many early automobiles up to about 1940, is obsolete now. It consists of a radiator connected to the engine through flexible hoses. In this system, circulation of water is obtained from the difference in densities of the hot and the cold regions of cooling water. The circulating water gets heat from the engine cylinders thereby cooling the same. The same heat in the water is then dissipated into the atmosphere through the radiator by mainly conduction and convention. Therefore, the circulating water becomes cold by the time it reaches the collector tank of the radiator. The same water is then circulated through the engine to collect heat from the cylinders. The rate at which water circulates in this system is proportional to the heat output or the load on the engine and not to the engine speed. Some of the thermosiphon systems also had fans mounted behind the radiator and driven by belt and pulleys from the crankshaft to assist the flow of cooling air. The advantages of this system are simplicity and low initial cost. However, these are accompanied by many disadvantages also. 1. As the circulation of coolant is maintained by natural conventional only, the cooling is rather slow. Therefore, to have adequate cooling, the capacity of the system has to be large. 2. Due to the quantity of coolant being large, it takes more time for the engine to reach the operating temperature. 3. Radiator head or tank must be located higher than the top of the cylinder coolant jackets, which is no more possible with the modern body styles. 4. Certain minimum level of coolant must be maintained in the system. If the coolant falls below that level, continuity of flow would break and the system would consequently fail.